Good day, everyone. Today, I will share to you the history of transportation part one. People started fishing on rivers and lakes. Early humans used the earliest known boats referred to as dugout canoes, which were made by hollowing out a tree trunk at the center to make a place for them to sit. The Pese canoe is believed to be the world's oldest known boat. It is currently housed in Drent Museum in Assen, Netherlands. These river boats continued to change and develop. Around 4000 BC, humans learned to domesticate animals. Early humans used them for transportation like horses, donkeys, camels, and elephants. Since the animals were strong, they were capable of traveling to longer distances and carrying heavier loads. It was around this period when the wheel was invented. The earliest known use of the wheel was thought to be around 3500 BC as a potter's wheel of the Sumerians in Mesopotamia. The Sumerians then hooked this wheel to chariots to get to places faster. The concept of the wheel went through many stages of development. Moving on, did you know that the first submarine was constructed by Cornelis Drebel of Holland in 1620? The first submarine was operated by 12 rowers and propelled by oars. Do you wonder who invented the steam-powered automobile? For the historians, the answer is Nicolas Joseph Cugnot, a French military engineer. He built a vehicle which was capable of human transportation and to haul artillery in 1769. It had three wheels, two in the back and one in front. His invention gave people access to jobs, places to live, and services. Moving on, as people began to understand more about the Earth's atmosphere, they discovered the possibility of using the air for transport and travel. This initially came in the form of hot air balloons. The French brothers, Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier, invented the first hot air balloon in 1782. Did you know that a ship, a dock, and a rooster were the first passengers on a hot air balloon? It floated nearly two miles in about eight minutes. At that time, the brothers believed that the smoke from an onboard fire was the key of keeping the balloon aloof. Later, they realized it was the hot air that blew into the envelope that was important because the hot air is less dense than cold air outside of the balloon makes it fly. The French government supported them in 1783. Hot air balloons are still popular today all over the world. Let us move on to the high-pressurized steam-powered locomotive it was constructed by Richard Trevithick on 1804. Did you know the name of Richard's locomotive? 
Yes, it's Penny Dayren. Penny Dayren made its trip over the time of four hours and five minutes, carrying around 25 tons of iron, equipments, and 70 people. Trevithick laid the foundation for building all the future railway systems that are used today. Are you aware of the steamboat? Robert Fulton designed and operated the world's first commercially successful steamboat. Fulton's Claremont made its first historical trip in August 1807 on the Hudson River. Fulton then began making this round trip on a regular basis for paying customers. Steamboats were soon used to transport people and goods along rivers throughout the world. Let us talk about a land transportation this time. Did you know that buses made a long way since their introduction? In 1662, Blaise Pascal introduced the first horse-drawn bus in Paris. However, due to high ticket prices, it only operated for 15 years. In 1812, the horse-drawn bus made its appearance again. These were a cross between a carriage and stage coach. It was this time that the bus got its name. The bus derived its name from the Latin word omnibus, meaning for all. Today, buses have been developed into a safe, affordable, and convenient way to travel. That's it for part one. Let us continue the history of transportation in part two. Thank you for listening. Bye.